meditation and money closely related meditation awakens you to the understanding and putting that to action gives you the money the first aspect which we have here is your basic needs we have a basic needs food clothing shelter right then we need our security needs our tomorrow should be okay you don't have to worry in the current about tomorrow then after this comes in your understanding about the society so you want to be accepted in the society in the community you are in right cannot live in isolation and then after this you need to have your esteem self esteem needs people should know me people should i should become somebody who is belong to a society who is a contributor right all these things this is self esteem final is the self actualization yes maslow's theory this is the pyramid if this is not met or if this is not met or this is not met even this not how can we get this often the problem with people is people look at this as their first thing to be attended to this is our goal but we need to take our baby steps from here climb the ladder not just think okay i'm born i'm this person i'm directly here and what is going to happen there slide then start from here understanding who am i so this is called as an identity crisis it creates an identity crisis where they feel i am here i have so much of knowledge i am so uh, elevated all the time i'm happy when i meditate i do everything x y z i can fast for months and then health goes down and what happens your basic needs you will need lot of nutrition you will need lot of support from the family often people who are on the spiritual path they jump here but this is the goal we cannot rome was not built in a day it takes its own time we need to have our building blocks foundation is strong everything is strong if your basic foundation here is strong you will naturally be able to reap all this now coming to basic needs you have food clothing shelter you have got good money with you okay so there is financial freedom security with that financial freedom you will get your social acceptance because you will be able to contribute to the people you will be able to radiate out your knowledge wisdom money everything to the society to make it a better place when that is there naturally your self esteem is going to be elevated and when this elevation happens the next is you will only think what is my purpose in life so that was the reason i asked if you are hungry for a month or so and then you say i want to do this i'm going to just meditate and be ah in that aha moment all the time the body is going to come crashing right so this is the basic understanding of why we need to understand the concept of living on a practical pyramid this maslow's hierarchy of needs i always say this is a practical pyramid we all need to have your identity there i'm i'm going to create three pyramids today okay this is a pedagogy now first is the knowledge how many of you feel that you have the knowledge needed to run your life you are here the very fact you are here for 21 days all of you are full on with knowledge okay this knowledge has to be applied all of you agree to this you have lot of knowledge but which is not put to practical use which is not applied in your life so where is it going to take you nowhere nowhere okay now after uh, now we have to see ability to analyze your knowledge only when you apply knowledge you will know what is your ability to analyze that knowledge which you have and when you analyze you will be able to evaluate evaluate yourself as well as to the people whom you are sharing your knowledge so this is on a personal level then we come to when you are sharing with others and then comes creativity now often people think that i'm very knowledgeable and they set in an 
biggest problem right this comes in i'm so knowledgeable oh i can do anything and everything is a possibility for me but you do and see whether it's really a possibility right an athlete cannot sit at home visualize and say oh i'm going to be the gold medalist in the olympic if he goes on the track he knows whether he really has that which will take him to the being a gold medalist so this particular aspect knowledge it is there everywhere you go to google you will have lot of knowledge but what you do with it is what makes you so your application will help you create an identity what is it that i become when i apply this knowledge and when you analyze it makes you a research is to know how much i know what i know how i know for whom it is valuable and where is it going to take me all these questions will be answered there and then when you evaluate you come to a conclusion of what is the knowledge that you have is it something which is needed now is it the knowledge which is going to take me somewhere is it the knowledge which is just there for me to have it in my head create an ego what is it that you are doing with that knowledge and finally when all these steps are done with and you have reached this level you get into a state of creativity and when you are in the state of creativity what happens you are able to give you create something and when you create something what happens you are able to give it to the world and because it was not existing earlier people you become a rarity it becomes a usb and then you become a star in your field how many of you want to become a star in your field only so many stars if you already are become a bigger star become the sun there's no limitations the biggest problem is we often think that how can we think big how can we dream big right all of you are stars anyway now it's time to become the sun shine bright and radiate your knowledge to the world to make it a better place knowledge is always to create something which makes the world a better place and not something to disrupt life runs on demand and supply no other concept the whole of the universe runs on demand and supply having the knowledge which is needed right now is most important rather than having a knowledge which will be needed which was needed 100 years ago